Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With that, let's head over to Raymond James Stadium in Tampa for the call of this one. We bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden. Ed Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa is the spot, Raymond James Stadium. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, look, some might say that football's a young man's fancy, so to speak, but don't tell that to these two quarterbacks because they come in here with a lot, and I mean a lot, of NFL experience. Hey, I like the Young Turks, I like the Baker Mayfields, I like the Patrick Mahomes, I like the Lamar Jacksons, but I do like those grizzled veterans who know how to play the game, know how to run their team, and know how to handle difficult situations. Maybe I'm just showing my age, too. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go from Tampa. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a it. knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first pick of the second round back in 2001, and that's the veteran Drew Brees. Drew Brees' accomplishments have been borderline astounding. When you look back at what people thought about him coming out of college, so-called height issue, you name it, he can do it, and boy, does he prepare well for each and every game. It for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Breeze. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Ready. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. First down carry, it's Kamara. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. And a quick look at the Buccaneer defensive starters. It's easy to go back to the time when Dominican Sue entered the NFL and he was an absolute force right from the beginning. But it's been fun to watch his career progress and I'm starting to see a little more finesse in his game, although I'm not sure he'd like me to describe it that way. But you see the agility, you see the movement, and of course, he can bull rush when he needs to to get to the quarterback. 
Ready. 5'8, 5'8. Mike 54. 54. 54. 55. 56. To throw on second and six. Breeze. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49 yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. So after the INT, it's Brady. Blitz coming and down he goes. Cameron Jordan. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Here's Brady. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 33 yards that time. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays... Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Operating from the gun, Brady. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. From the gun, Brady. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The gain of 5 that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but 4 for 4 on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well.
Wait, set. Ready? 40 seconds to Mike. Check, 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 check. When he hit. Hey, second. Now Jones. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. That's trash. That's trash. Sugar, sugar. Now Brady. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the three now, here they come on third and goal. Brady. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. So on fourth down, on comes the Buccaneer kicker, Matt Gay. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. Ready? One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely Ready? executed curl Ready? route. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. To throw, it's Breeze. It's caught, Smith. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Ready. So from the 36 Ready. now, first and 10. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. Ready, yellow lady, yellow lady. 54. Not today, you are. Not today. Cut. 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 Into the red zone, it's Breeze. Going right side here, and that's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open Ready. spots in the Ready. zone. Ready. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Ready. 5-8, five 5-8. Eight, five eight. All day. All day. Every day. <laughs> They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have taken the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Will Lutz on for the point after. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On play action, now Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they work this well up field across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Ready? 
A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Shotgun now for Brady. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Cameron Jordan, his second sack of the night. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Third and long, it's Brady. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here's Bradley Pinion now to punt for the Bucks on fourth down. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 20. On play action, now Breeze. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Personally, I think they've got to go somewhere else with the football. They've got him bracketed out there in double coverage. Makes it hard to fit it in time after time. It would have had to have been an absolutely perfect pass and not good enough. Ready? After the incompletion, here's pick. second and 10 from the 20. They'll run. This is Kamara. And an alley to run. He's at the 50. The 30. 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he recognized That's them. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. Lots of look to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score it. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Wait, that's 53! They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Jordan in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking out behind center. Wait, set. 29. Alpha. Let's go. Play action. Now it's Brady. Airing this one out for Evans. And that's caught inside the 30. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. It's a big play there for the Buccaneers. 45 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A good pickup of six there on first down. Wait, that's 380. Check with the six. Hey, tighten, tighten down, tighten down. There you go. Hey, 66. On second down and four. Brady. This is Miller. Complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard let's go, let's go. line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Wait, that's Brady now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Here's Jones. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind. He hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to tear you up. And they try to sweep the Jones. 
And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. After one, a 14 to three ball game. But they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Brady now to throw. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Matt Gay on for the extra point. He's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. That's it, baby. We got work. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Breeze. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. And his throw is incomplete. Traquan Smith, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. 
from the gun. It's a run for Kamara. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up yeah. at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield hey, and spill lady, the play. <laughs> they fake the give. Here's Breeze. He's got the first down and more past midfield. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work on a little bit more. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route, it's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me. We'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. They'll run it now out of the gun. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Wait, that wide, 80. Check back 47. Let's get off the field, team. 72. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. 
Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. On second down, it's Jones. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. The Bucks on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time, it's third and three. That's complete to his receiver, Gallagher. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 36. This is Jones, and an alley to run, and he's going to get this inside the 30. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. On second down, it's Jones. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Wait, that, wait, check my 47. Check, 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 check. Hey, hey. No, 66. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Wait, that 380. Check, check, 47. Watch, watch the flag, watch the flag. 380, Watch the flag, motion, They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. The Bucks on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. Here it's third and two. To throw is Brady. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Gotta love the catch. 
I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great, and they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are, and I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Gay's kick is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, uh, you like Come that on. one? Well, what does that mean, break out the... Just because bre you break chestnuts? I I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. After the made field goal, Gay back out there to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. They begin on the ground with Kamara. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. Ready. Filled the gap nicely, Ready. kept him to just a one-yard gain. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. Right, here we go. Breeze on the draw, gives to Kamara. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort from minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Ready? You ready? Check, check. Box 54. Box 54. You, you, you. You, you, you. Tonight. Now Breeze on third down. And that's caught by Smith. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Brees now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. From midfield, here's Breeze. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A big play there. 50 yards. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Ball was out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. 
So that drive, four plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look wait, it up. Wait, wait, the mic. There we go, here we go. Check, 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 check. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Brady. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Now they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. It certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. The Bucks on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and nine. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Brady now. Pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. The best play callers in any league know how to break their tendencies. They study themselves, they self-scout, and they realize most of the time you don't call a draw play on first and ten. So every so often you insert that play just to make the defense think, even if it's not successful. Wait, that wide, 80! Let's go, D! Let's go! 47 is the mic, boy, 47! Check all bandit! On second down now, it's Jones. Run, run, run. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. The Bucks on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few Damn, yards short of the fellas, first down. Fellas, That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Yeah, 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. He's been in a pretty good groove. They actually have more yards on the ground than through the air, but both have been good, pretty balanced. And have we ever met a coach when we've talked to him before a game that hasn't mentioned wanting to be balanced? No, because then you've got both sides hitting the defense. They don't know what to expect, right? Really helps your play calling because now you're in a position where you're confident in either one, either aspect of the game, dial it up and let it go. And so far, that's allowed them to lead. Absolutely. Have the lead here in the second quarter. Well, here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. From the 40 now on second down, Breeze. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Breeze now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Breeze now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Breeze. He's got Smith here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Bree's going to come up here, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go run, down to a run, knee, and they'll start run. at the 25. And this offense trotting back onto the field. Let's turn our attention here to Ronald Jones. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. Shadow! Operating from the gun. Brady, wide open, receiver complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Brady closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. From the gun, Brady fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. I'm coming after you. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be spotted just shy of midfield. A 59-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Ready. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just gonna see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you a stone's throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as go. they'll start at the 21-yard line. The spotlight now focuses on the quarterback, and that's Tom Brady. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more. Mike Evans, he's gonna go. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Evans, 79 yards. And the Bucks are able to close the gap just a bit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Gay is on for the point after. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. We play to win. Let's go. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they We're find ready. those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Back to back, good plays. Have him on the move on first down. To throw his breeze. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. 
And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the ground, Kamara. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. On second and nine, Breeze, he'll air it out deep for Thomas. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. Throwing now is Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Emmanuel Sanders there to make the grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time a six-play drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 74 yards, and the box are able to cut into that deficit. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? He 
Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, a long touchdown pass into the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Running with Kamara. And an alley to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Ready? One play Ready, has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the ground, this is Kamara. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. Second down, Kamara. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now Kamara. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On play action, it's Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Hey, and the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Brees now to throw. Open man is Michael Thomas. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 30. 
All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. This quarterback now over 300 yards down for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. Two yards on the pick up there, it'll be second and eight. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. They'll throw out wide, complete to Sanders. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Bree's going to throw. And this will be caught inside the 10. What a grab. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And certainly a valuable tool to have in your kit, Emmanuel Sanders, and he's shown us quite a bit in this one. And that's why they wanted to use him immediately. You know they come out of the locker room saying, let's get the ball to him, get our offense jump started, and in this case, it's worked throughout the game. Thus, they have the lead. The three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And it's caught. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays... You don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 
Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Four. Hey, set. 380. Check, check. 47. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Brady now on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Now Jones. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Wait, wait 20. Six, right there, right there, 56. I'm trying to collect. Check it back, check it back. Regular, regular. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy Let's territory. Go. Go. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Now he'll throw with Brady. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And he's got Miller. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Shotgun now for Brady. He's got the hookup to Miller. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 20-yard line. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. 
Into the red zone, it's Brady. Quick hitter here, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. The give is to Jones. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. On play action, it's Brady. And he pulls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Gay is on for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, <laughs> alert for anything out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making Ready? sure you get the Ready? team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Now Breeze on the bootleg. And Josh Hill has it. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. be able to run another play time has expired on this third quarter you're watching the NFL on EA Sports back-to-back -back ready. good plays have them on the move on first down Now Breeze. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. And that's complete to Sanders. 22 yards there, a first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 30 on second down, Breeze, it's caught by Sanders. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 13-yard line. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. He's going to come up here, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. The sack by the Super Bowl champion and pro bowler Jason Pierre-Paul. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Breeze. He gets it to Thomas. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The Saints on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be a tough third and 18. Breeze now. 
And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run it with Kamara, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. That almost felt like the defense said he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. One man in the backfield, Murray on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Breeze to throw. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Four touchdown passes now for Drew Breeze, and the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Lutz good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Alert! Throwing on first down is Brady. Firing quickly here and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Throwing now is Brady. He completes it to Evans. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now Brady. And this is caught by Evans. 
And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Brady's throw there complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Again, it's Brady. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. To throw is Brady. Caught by Jones. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. And allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. A give to Jones. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards on the pick up there, it's fourth down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. And they're indeed gonna go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll go for it, it's Brady. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Well, both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And out trots Jared Cook with the rest of his offensive mates. And a bounce back here for him after a slow start. And sometimes that's how it goes with tight ends. Those catches in their games, they can go in waves at that position. And you get so locked into stopping them that you think, okay, hey, look at that. We've got it. We've held him down. <laughs> and the best ones, you really don't hold down for an entire game. They're going to get their catches. Your job is to keep them from being big-time catches that break you down totally. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs. 
to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Saints on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Here's Thomas Morstead now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his go. walk? That's go. the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Wait, set. Wait, 20. 47. Check, check, 47. Here we go, D. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing. Get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Cameron Jordan make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. 
And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. Brady going to go on fourth down. He's got Evans. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Brady. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him six on the play, and it's a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Brady. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. 
And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Ready. 5-9. Check. 45. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down if they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. Again it's Camara and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Ready, 95-56, 96 hey. Now Breeze, ah. and he finds Cook. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run. This is Kamara. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Drew Brees with a kneel down, and that ought to do it. Ready, yellow lady, yellow lady. Double time, double time. You got three, three down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all gonna work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we bid you good night from Tampa.